Leah Rabin, the widow of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, says she still has confidence in Israel's security forces despite last month's assassination of her husband. Israel relived that moment Tuesday with the release of an amateur videotape. It shows the gunman stalking the Prime Minister and shooting him at point-blank range. Well, that comes as Rabin's confessed killer, Yigal Amir, appeared in court. More from CNN's Gerald Kessel. The moment Israel lost its innocence. The previously unrevealed amateur video showing the fatal shooting of Yitzhak Rabin, arousing anguishing security questions about the presence of the gunman in the vicinity of the country's top leadership and searing doubts of how it could happen in a country used to easy interaction between leaders and their people. The dramatic video overshadowed events in the court where Yigal Amir went on trial. Here in the compact courtroom, security aplenty. But the young religious man who stunned the world by gunning down the Prime Minister cut a slight figure. Looking confident and smiling periodically, Yigal Amir called out to the TV cameras, allowed in briefly before the formal proceedings. There was no political outburst during the 40-minute session, as he had produced during earlier hearings. After reading the charges, presiding judge Edmund Levy agreed to an adjournment until January 23rd to allow the defense time to prepare. Only then will the self-confessed assassin indicate whether he will plead guilty or otherwise. Still, Amir's attorney was not satisfied. The court is forcing me to, to uh, manage this trial in such a fast way. That itself is injustice. No surprises in the indictment, which details how Amir, with his brother and a friend, conspired to kill Yitzhak Rabin because of his peace policies. Amir smiled softly, to himself at times, at others to his family, as the charges recounted earlier unsuccessful attempts to get close enough to kill the Prime Minister. And then the account of the fateful night of November 4th at a peace rally just a mile away from this court. In an earlier reenactment for police cameras, Amir has showed how he was able to gun Rabin down with remarkable ease. However long the trial does last, the scars inflicted on Israeli society and politics by the assassination remain as vivid as ever. Gerald Kessel, CNN, Tel Aviv. Wednesday is a landmark day for the UN's mission. In